Yo, what's going on guys, Flames in here, and today I'll be bringing you guys a brand new video. Today I'll be doing a price analysis and price prediction on Chili's or CHZ. Before we get into it, if you could leave a like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. Also, if you'd like to join my Telegram, I'll link in the description. It's just general crypto discussions here and there, and I'll also be posting different trades that I make every day. And lastly, if you would like to make up to $100 for free in Bitcoin, just join the BlockFi link in the description as well. Now just sit back and enjoy. Okay, so we're starting off here on coin market cap, and we have a fifty-six thousand eight hundred dollar Bitcoin there, and we have a four thousand five hundred dollar Ethereum there, pretty much. If you did actually watch my previous video, you would have seen that I did do a pretty in-depth analysis of Bitcoin, and I showed you where I think it could be going in the short term. Uh, I dropped back into the four R here, showed this falling wedge, also showed this block support that I have drawn up here, and I also did actually talk about this trend line that I have been talking about for the past few weeks on my videos. And over on my Twitter, here is the app. But we'll move back on over here to CoinMarketCap and we will now take a look at Chili's or CHZ. And it is currently sitting at rank number 67. We're at 42 cents right now. We're down 4.35% today. Our market cap is 2.5 billion. Our circulating supply is just under 6 billion there, which is 67% of our max supply, which is 8.8 .8 billion. We'll actually move over here to CoinGecko quickly and check to see if those are the right numbers because sometimes coin market cap is a little off. So this is saying that the market cap is 2.3 billion there. Our circulating supply is 5.3 billion and our total supply is 8.8. .8. So the numbers are pretty confident with this as well. So we'll just stick to this, but we'll move down here on our all time high was just shy of $1 there. Yeah, it was 89 cents and that was on March 13th, which was nine months ago. And we're currently down 52.85% from then. Now I have made a few videos on Chili's. I do think this is a great fundamental project and I really do think that it is going places. I personally do not hold any myself. I did have a bag back in the day, but I did actually manage to sell it in and around 60 or 70 cents, I think it was, just before the dip that we actually had. But if you wanna do whatever sort of research that you do want, you can actually read through this, pause the video if you'd like, or if you wanna do a little more, you can come over to chilies.com and this will just show you everything that you do need to know. You can come over here, do whatever fundamental research that you do need to see if you would like to actually invest in this project. And if you do come over here and figure that you wanna buy yourself some, you can come back on over to CoinMarketCap and click on markets, and this will show you where you can actually pick yourself some up. So Binance is the number one volume holder there with 19.53%. Then you have Huobi, Coinbase, Qcoin, FTX, Gate.io, BitThumb. There's loads of different ones there. Just stick to the high confidence ones and you'll be chilling. Now we move on over here to TradingView now, and we will do some price analysis on this, and then I will also give you a price prediction as well towards the end. So looking at this on more of a macro sort of scale here, we are actually fighting with that 50 day moving average right now. Hopefully we do manage to get the close above that. It's also fairly confident with this support that I have drawn up there at around 41.7 cents, but you would like to see us closing above the 50 moving average there, holding that as support, and then maybe we can tackle the 8 EMA tomorrow, hopefully flipping that as well as the 20 moving average, and then we can continue on up. But if you're actually looking at this on more of a bearish scenario, and you want to actually place yourself some buy orders if you don't actually have any yourself, you could run a fib there from that bottom all the way up to the top. And as you can see, this 618 is sitting in and around this 40 cents mark. So you could probably be placing a buy order in and around that area. That's also fairly confident with this as well, but you could just have it slightly below there in and around 40 cents, or you could have another buy order in on this 786 which is also the same pretty much as that 200 moving average as well, in and around that 33.1 cents mark. Now, if we do come down here, this will also be confident with this sort of downtrend line that we did actually reject off there a good few times before breaking out there on the 30th of October. And if we do come the whole way down there, retest that, I would say that we will definitely be holding that as support. And that would probably be a good sort of level to place some buy orders. Now, I don't think if we do come down and test this that we will be losing it. But if you are a little more bearish and you do think we may retrace lower, you could have buy orders set the whole way down to 24 cents there, but I do not think we will be going there. Now, if you're working in the BTC pair, we can take a look at that and I will show you where you can buy yourself some with your sats. So let me actually click that again. And we'll take a look at this. And if you're currently looking at that, you could definitely be running a fib here from even this bottom here 
all the way up to our top there again and taking a look at some of these levels. So we're actually closer to the 0.5 there compared to the 618. So we definitely could be picking up some buy orders in and around that 618 level, which is also confluent with pretty much all of the moving averages there. You've got the 200 day, you've got the 100 day and the 50 day as well. We're actually just below the 20 day moving average and the 8 EMA there. And we have rejected off this 0.5 after rejecting off them previously. So if we do actually come down here, I would say that this will probably be a level that would hold. But if you do think we could break that, make a few more lower highs and lower lows, we could come here, hit our heads on this and then come down to around this 786 at around 602 sats. That is also confident with some support there that you do have throughout the past there. You've tested it back here, actually here as well. A couple of wicks down below it there, but we never got any closes. We got closes right on it there, and then another one back in March. So this is solid support. If we do come down here, I don't think we actually will lose this 628 because of all these moving averages as well. But if we do, I would say we won't be coming any lower than that 786. So you get a lot of your buy orders from around that 700 sats mark all the way down to around 600 sats. But we'll move back on up here now to the USDT pair, and I will now do a price prediction for you. So we'll remove all this and we will drop back here and for this we'll actually be running a fib here from this top all the way down to our bottoms now if we take a look at some fib extensions here if we move on up this 1.618 is sitting just shy of that psychological level at around that one dollar fifty mark and once we actually do get up towards this all-time high we do have a little bit of resistance in our way but I would say once we manage to get up to around this $1 area, flip that to support and get into price discovery, we will easily be seeing this 1.618 at $1.50 very soon. Now, if we keep moving on up here, our 2.618 is sitting at around that $2.30. The 3.618 is sitting above $3 there. Our 4.618 is sitting at around $3.90. And all the way up here to our 5.618, just shy of that psychological $5 mark, I personally think that we could be pushing up towards those prices towards the end of the cycle. Now, if you do think that that does sound crazy, we will take our calculators out and see what sort of money it would take us to get there. So $5 divided by our current price of 42 cents, 0 0.08. So that would give us an 11.8x from current prices to push us up towards that $5 price point. Now, if we move over here and multiply this by our market cap here, that would be, so multiplied by 2,505,184,134, that would give us a $29.7 billion market cap for Chili's to reach that $5 price point. Now, if we move over here and see where that would put us on the rankings, it would put us just below Polkadot here, moving Doge out of top 10. Now, as I say in every video, there's gonna be so much more money flowing into this total market. And honestly, a 30 odd billion dollar market cap could easily be pushed out towards this top 15, even this top 20. And if you do understand the fundamentals of Chile and what it is actually trying to achieve, you will know why this thing deserves to be a top 20 coin, moving it on up towards that $5 price point valued at around a $30 billion market cap towards the end of the cycle. I hope that's what you wanted to hear. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. I love you all.